So another novice's chase. Next three mile on one furlong this time. El Centro Fountain for Vinnie Gerald is at the top. Great Saddler, Darren Thompson. The Phalanx, Joshua Sutherland. Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg. Talkback, Mayor Graham Clutterbuck. Wild Rose, David Hooley. Turbineer Carpet, Derek Hinton. And Spherical Lady for Jim Murray. A field of eight in this trial for the RSA. Or whatever it's called now. Three more novice chase at the festival, then away and racing. And talk back a mare. Looked like she was going to be the first one to share, but it's going to be great, sadder, and spherical lady. Look like they're going to take it on. Talk back mare is refusing to settle. Jockey trying to keep a grip on it. But they're pretty tightly grouped at the moment. Probably no more than four lengths still covering the whole field as they make their way towards the first of the 20 fences. The same course and distance as the major domo earlier, so it's a long run to the first. And Great Sandler seems to have won the argument to lead as they get into that first fence. Uh, they're all over no count, though. Jim Murray's great spherical lady hit it a little bit hard. Uh, it's dropped to the back two greys in this one. This one being talked back mare for Graham Clutterbuck. They're over the water and heading towards the ditch now then with Great Sandler in the lead. Leading by four to El Centro Fountain in second. And Cloak of Magic and the Phalanx. Get about yards of fauna there. It's talk but Mare's gone. So Graham Clutterbuck's grey departs the race at the ditch. And they get to the next one, which is fence number four. And they all got over that one OK. With Great Sadler, two lengths clear. And of the Phalanx in second for Joshua Sutherland. And back in third is Cloak of Magic. Wild Rose on that one's outside of the purple jacket for David Hooley. And the two shades of green El Centro Fountain. Well, Vinnie Gerard as they take that massive looking ditch. The Tobinier carpet on the outside of the pink for Derek Hinton. And spherical Lady Jim Murray's grey just going past Vinnie Gerard's El Centro Fountain as they take the sixth, which they all jumped nicely and all begin to bunch up again now. A nice downhill with Great Saddler in the lead by a couple of lengths to Wild Rose on the outside of the Phalanx. Cloak of magic between the two of them. As they get to the seventh. Over that one, okay. Particularly good jump by Cloak of magic in the blue. A great saddle up. So Darren Thompson's going to be a bit iffy with their jumping. But they tend to be sort of, if they jump round, they get pretty close to winning. It's over that one, okay. And leads by a couple to the Phalanx in second. Josh had a four already, which is quite rare for him. And David Hewley's Wild Rose on the outside. And Cloak of Magic Tobinia Carpet is getting a bit closer in the pink jacket. And Spherical Lady and finally El Centro Fountain as they come back up the straight. And they'll soon be going past the point from where they started, but they took this fence first, which they all got over okay. Then they'll take this one, it'll be the last next time round. Uh, all over that one, okay, Spherical Lady made a mistake. And now they come past the stand and they'll pass the winning post and where they started from and head out for a final circuit of the track with Great Sadler. Now five lengths to the good from the Wild Rose on the outside of the Phalanx. Too many a carpet on the wide outside, then Cloak of Magic is just tucked in behind them with a gap of two lengths to the Great Spherical Lady and El Centro Fountain. Just the back marker. They're heading onto the back part of the track again now. A plane on the water and then a ditch to greet them as they get over the first of them. They're all safely over that with Great Saddler continuing to lead. And the Phalanx and Cloak of Magic, Wild Rose, Tobinier Carpet, Spherical Lady, and El Centro Fountain. That's the order they'll take the water in and they land in that same order. Most towards this ditch, which sometimes catches a couple of them out after that water jump. And the Great Saddler is two lengths clear. Over it they go, they all got over it okay this time. The Phalanx now second. Cloak of Magic third. It's very cool, ladies, the one who's making good ground up the inside as they take that plain one. There's Wild Rose just being maybe given a mid race breather. There's a mile to go. Of jumping still to be done. And another ditch. Next. 
really good jump again there by Cloak of Magic as she's jumped into the lead. So Cloak of Magic on the outside of Great Saddler. Spherical Lady now being spawned around the outside. The Phalanx just caught for a little bit of room there as they take that plain one. And it's Spherical Lady who's now jumped into the front from Great Saddler in second. Cloak of Magic third. The Phalanx still going the shortest way around the inside. Wild Rose is going to try and come around the outside. Tobinia Carpet is following that one. And El Centro Fountain is still just a back marker but only six lengths off the lead. They take the fourth last and over that one the leader didn't jump in as quickly as Great Sadler in second back in third is Cloak of Magic and the Phalanx Wild Rose is next then Turbinia Carpet and El Centro Fountain three to jump and you still couldn't really pick the winner and it's Great Sadler who's got back into the lead at this third last from Spherical Lady over in second then the Phalanx is in third Cloak of Magic comes under a bit of pressure now Turbinia Carpet being rousted along and the one that's got nowhere to go at the back is El Centro Fountain Jockey completely boxed off but it's Great Sadler and Spherical Lady have got first run then with two to jump and these two have pulled four or five clear of the Phalanx in second. Now El Centro Fountain's been pulled round the outside to try and make a run but lost a lot of ground on that turn as they race down to the second last. It's the Great Sadler and Spherical Lady. Oh Spherical Lady's down! Spherical Lady's gone and that's left Great Sadler seven or eight lengths clear of Wild Rose with just one to jump and Great Sadler stood off the last but got over it okay. There's a furlong to go and Wild Rose is eating up the ground so too is Cloak of Magic and Great Sadler is starting to tread ground a little bit. El Centro Fountain's flying as well. Great Sadler needs a line to come but here comes Wild Rose and Wild Rose is going to swoop up to steal it and Wild Rose is going to take it for an unfortunate Great Sadler Cloak of Magic maybe even going to be second. El Centro Fountain was unlucky than the Phalanx and finally Tobinia Carpet and at some point you're going to have to start taking David Hooley seriously as a contender for the title because that's another one for him. Cloak of Magic back in second for Leon Van Rensburg. Great Sadler for Darren Thompson was third. El Centro Fountain Vinnie Gerard fourth. That was unlucky. And the Phalanx for Joshua Sutherland was back in fifth. <laughs>